All right, welcome back. Got another trick for you guys. Chevy Bolt EV 2017 with the B. Got something for you. I want to show you something. A friend of mine just got a new toy. New toy. Something new. Something that <laughs> he waited for two years. Two years in like a month or something like that. But you know, me, I, I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to wait. Then yeah, I didn't have the patience. But in all actuality, he was lucky. He got it his early. Blah, blah, blah. He should have waited three. But we'll see. So check this out. I'm going to do a quick comparison between the two. And I know you wonder, between the two? To what? To what? You'll see. All right. So as you can see, you wonder what this is. This, my friend here, is the Model 3 made by Tesla. Nice, slick vehicle. As you can see, the mirrors pop out. Nice and low to the ground. Walking to the back. I know I'm a Chevy Bolt fan, but I just had to show this car off. And yes, I did show bring my good old trusty dusty with me you know isn't she pretty she's pretty you know even though beside this sexy car it's still nice you know it's still a nice car you got the premium rims 19 inch size uh zero emissions license plate as you can see nice but I want to show you a few things. One of the things that I like about my car that I don't like about this car. But I do like a lot of stuff about this car that I wish my car had. So let's go ahead and open it up. Press the little door handle. Dink. All right. So as you can see, we're inside the car. And, uh, let me pause the music, I guess that's how you do it. All right, I don't know if you can see this really well, but check it out. So inside the car, there is no speedometer. There's nothing, it's, look, it's just you just reach straight through. So in order to see the speedometer, you actually have to look at the screen over here and see all the things you gotta do, you know, like your speedometer will be here, um, the other functions will be in here. There's no buttons. I think we got what, two buttons? One here, a knob, and one here. Um, there's no pedal shifters. There's nothing. But it's really clean. It's a really clean car. Really clean. But there's nothing. There's there's nothing here. There's got a couple cup holders. A leather. <coughs> Excuse me. Leather interior. There's two buttons on the steering wheel, dink and dink. And on the door handle we got, oh, we got a couple window buttons here. There's no, how do you open the door? Oh, there's a, there's a button right here to open the door. No handle. I think there's an emergency latch somewhere around here, but no handle. Hmm. Not bad. I give them about six buttons. Maybe six. I'm a button guy. I like buttons. I like to push buttons. You know, they got the rear view mirror, normal rear view mirror, nothing really special. But check this out. <laughs> the entire roof. It's glass. It's glass. You can see the, the, the trees and everything. Look at it in the back. It's glass. It's glass all the way around. This is ridiculous. And it's not even hot. It feels great in this car. It's like 85 degrees outside. But the car feels great. Right, so just some of the little you know nuances about this car <laughs> looks like Sean's calling again all right looks like it picked up so I don't know let's see so if I'm driving I mean really driving staring at the road can can you really actually navigate through this menu screen if you don't know what you're doing you just got this car yeah I mean, you know help me out you just get this car and you know you're like okay well how do I turn on the windshield wipers uh, is it here no it looks like there's a button here for something I have no idea what auto is I guess that's windshield wipers or something but there's a lot of features in this touchscreen that to me it's kind of scary I, I got it oh okay okay oh. look check this out this is the key this is the key to the car <laughs> he's leaving me 
<laughs> he left me with his car. Oh, we about to have some fun. <laughs> Woo! I don't even know how to start this thing. Where do you put the key to start this car? There's no button. There's no push to start. There's there's nothing. How? Okay, how do you do this? Hmm. I guess with a Tesla, <laughs> you need a handbook. You need YouTube videos. You need Google. I think you're going to need everything to drive this car. But it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's a pretty car. It's a really nice car. But man, it's it's... It takes some time to actually learn how to drive this car. I mean, because there is no start button. I don't know how to turn the air off. There's no button for that. Um, I, I guess, let's see. Uh, maybe auto? Um, yeah, uh, where's the on and off button on this thing? Oh, here we go. It looks like I found something. Got it. Okay, okay, got it, got the air off. So, like I said, the inside, it's nothing. It's, there's nothing, there's nothing there. You know, you just have this, you know, 15 inch wide screen monitor and nothing. I don't even know how to open the, the glove box. I think somebody showed me in the video, you go through here, through the menu or something somehow. I don't even know how to get the menu off of here. There we go. This would definitely be too much for me to, try to drive and look at the screen at the same time granted it's fairly close to the steering wheel but man it just seems like it'd be a pain in the butt to um, figure this out I guess the in the knobs I think they can roll left and right or something I don't know but like I said I'm a button guy I like buttons I like buttons all right hold on let me show you the difference all right you seen the inside of this That's the inside. Clean. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing in here. Seat belts. Back seat. Got this. Back seat. It's clean. Looks kind of tight to me. Uh, that's about, let's see, six to eight inches. Looks a little tight to me, but it's fine, you know. Some people like it. I need a little bit more leg room. I'm only 5'10". Check this out, how to open the door. It's not bad, there's no handle, it's smooth and flush. But you gotta press the button here, grab it, and then pull it open. It kinda helps you, actually it opens, hold up. I didn't shut the door. <laughs> there we go, door shut. All right, let me go show you the bolt. We've seen the inside of the bolt, but we're gonna check it out again, hold on. All right, we're back in the boat with the B 2017. So as you can see, I got tons of buttons on the steering wheel. I got five here, six, seven, eight, nine, another 11. Simple, easy display. You know, left, right, power on and off, air, blah, blah, blah. You know, push to start, super simple. You know, I got, boom, I got the heads up display. I got the heads up display. It's right here. Not gonna turn it on because the car is gonna take over my phone. You know, you got the windshield wipers and buttons on those wipers and twisters and knobs and, you know, and even on the armrest. You know, you got tons of buttons here. You know, the window up and down, lock the windows, a bunch of knobs, buttons, buttons, buttons. More buttons, more buttons. You know, it's the bolt, you know. And then, you know, you got the cool rear view camera, flip down. Flip, flip, see everything in the back, you know, all that good stuff. More buttons up here. I don't know if you see the, uh, the buttons up here. But just buttons everywhere. I mean, even buttons down here. Button, 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 you know, buttons on the side, buttons on the top, top on the back. You know, just buttons. Knobs and buttons. I guess Tesla wanted to do away with the buttons and the knobs. I wanted to go with that slick look. I don't mind. It's a beautiful car. Don't get me wrong. It's a day, it's a beautiful car. I think this car has everything except for autopilot. I think the sticker price was something like, after all said and done, it's supposed to be 35,000, but he paid, I think it was like 57 or something like that. Which, you know, the premium here was only 40, 41, 42, 43, something like that. But hey, 
you know this is what you get for additional twelve thousand dollars more well fifteen thousand dollars more fourteen something like that but you know a lot more you get a beautiful car one you get the frunk you know the trunk in the front <laughs> and then you get, you get the dunk a dunk in the back I call it the brunk, the trunk it's the real trunk deep deep trunk do I know how to open the trunk hell no I'm not that lucky I'm good but I'm not that lucky I have no idea how to open it this is the key this is it that's the key you keep it on your person it allows you to open stuff you need a manual for this car beautiful car though beautiful like I said if you hold them side by side look at the profile side profiles yeah, I think both of these cars look beautiful you got the Tesla on one side and the Bolt on the other I would never race these two because he would smoke the hell out of me I got a Bolt just because it's called the Bolt doesn't mean it's that damn fast I believe that car is rated at 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds maybe faster but <laughs> I think I'm clocking in at about 6.5 seconds in the in the 60, uh, you know, zero to 60. So, look, both cars are beautiful, but you know, you get what you pay for. Both cars. This car would do 310 miles. On a good day, my car does 270. Sometimes a little better, but yeah, that's my normal normal driving style, 270 miles. But hey, if I had the choice. To do it all over again, I would get the uh, uh, the bolt because I would not wait. I would not wait two years or longer for a car, sorta. Well, if they didn't have that, I would have gotten that. But since they didn't have that, when I got that or when this came out, I got that. But I like that. That's nice. But I got that, and that's nice too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Share it, like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. That's just the one-on-one -on -one quick comparison between the Chevy Bolt and the Tesla Model 3. Woo! Pretty car. Real nice car. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I still like you too. My car is still good. Still sexy. But that's a pretty car. It is a pretty car. Thanks for watching. Share it. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Um, Like it. Post it, twist it, flip it, rub it down, all that good stuff. Holler at you guys later. Peace. I'm out. Got to go back to work.